Hey guys, Jake Adrar, 252 Marathoner, kinesiologist, and today we are going to be discussing two small muscles that you guys might be neglecting that could have a very big impact on your running biomechanics and thus your running performance. The two muscles are the tibialis anterior and the peroneus brevis. Tibble, what? This, you guys like my black socks with sandals combo, super attractive. So this is your tibialis anterior. It comes down here and wraps down around and then underneath your foot here. It's responsible for pulling the foot up or dorsiflexing the foot and kind of controlling your ankle while you're running. Specifically in that mid stance phase, like where, you're, where you plant and then you shift over where your weight shifts over to the other leg. So this is your peroneus brevis on the outside, the lateral compartment of your ankle, and it's also responsible for controlling the motion of the ankle. And it basically, it pulls your ankle this way. So, like that. So if your ankle rolls like this, this muscle pulls it out like that. That's great, Jake, but will caring about this muscle do anything for my running times or my running performance? It could. So I found a cool study and it said that while we're running, the tibialis anterior is pushed past its fatigue threshold about 85% of the time. And as we increase in pace, our peroneus brevis, this one, is used more and more. So I don't know about you guys, but if, but if you've ever had pain on the front part of your shin, like muscle pain, or if you've had like ankle problems, or specifically since the tibialis anterior comes down and wraps around and goes under, if you've ever had shin splints, yeah, or pain here, this could be a muscle that could help mitigate that pain. So I've had two stress fractures on this shin right here. Boop, boop. Not fun, there's huge lumps of scar tissue like all along here. And every time I go to the physical therapist for rehab after like, you know, ultrasound and ice packs and just kind of prehab exercises. These two exercises I'm about to show you guys are ones that they always prescribe me. So you can use them as rehab, but we want to try to use them as prehab so that you don't have any problems in the future, like you're preventing having to do rehab prehab. And also besides pain, if you have excessive pronation, if you look at the, the hip drop video right here, we talked about trying to keep everything what, kind of like in a line, keeping your kinetic chain more or less stable and kind of straight and not all like loosey goosey. So these two muscles are going to be two of the contributing factors to your ankle and kind of your lower, 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 lower body, like your foot, um, stability and proper kinetic alignment. Okay. So the two exercises. First up, by Theraband. They're pretty cheap on Amazon. I think you can get like uh, packs of three of them, different colors and resistances for like 20 bucks. You should always have a few of these kind of lying around because there's always going to be small muscles you need to work on, especially these two. Also, in case you're wondering, these bottles aren't mine, they're my neighbors. And it's like this every week, like bottles of wine and, and whiskey and booze. I think they have a drinking problem. Are we going to want to use socks on your foot? Because if you have dirty foot hair like I do, this band will pull the hair, which doesn't feel, but for illustrative purposes, I want you use socks. So to start off, there's two ways you can tie the band around your foot. You can tie it like this, but to prevent it slipping, I'd recommend that you double it around the top of your foot like so. Find something stable to tie the bottom of the band to. Then scoot back until there's a little bit of tension on the band, and then start pulling with that front part of your leg. Start pulling with the tibialis anterior. Pull. Hold for a second and release. Pull, hold for a second and release. You should feel it right there in the top part of your leg. Then after you've done 20 reps, move your foot over to the side. You want to have the band pulling directly opposite of where the peroneus brevis muscle is, on the opposite side of the ankle. So the force should be totally perpendicular. Pull your foot back towards you and then rotate at your ankle. Use that outside part, use your peroneus brevis to rotate the ankle outwards away from you. It might be kind of tricky at first, but you'll start to feel it after about 20 reps. Relax, rotate away. Relax, rotate away. All right, and that's it. Pretty chill, pretty easy. Try to put these two exercises in your post-run routine two to three times a week. You wanna do three sets of 20 reps 
for each foot. So do 20 of the tib anterior pulls and switch over, do 20 of the pronius brevis lateral pulls, take a break between feet and just go for three sets of 20. And these are just gonna be great prehab exercises that are just one facet, one part of kind of keeping your kinetic chain, your running biomechanics, all proper and schmancy and uh, kind of ready to go. So you don't want any of that wasted motion, right? We want to make sure we're super efficient. So these are two exercises that I would recommend you throw in your routine. So try it out, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, that would just be so great. Just a little, just, to, just so I know that people are, <laughs> are enjoying this kind of thing. Um, if you guys have any comments or questions about uh, the nuances of the exercise, feel free to comment below, let me know. And uh, if there's anything in the future you guys want me to talk about, please let me know. I had a request for arm swing, which I think will be my next video. So next time I'll talk about arm swing. But, uh, but yeah, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about or research, let me know. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.